Hey guys, Carlos Greer here with Elizabeth Wagmeister. And we welcome to our Facebook Live. Yeah, welcome we to our are... lunch break. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're very excited to hang out with you guys yeah. while we're, well, not while we're eating, but like in the midst of it. And we just finished shooting. shooting. Yeah, we talked about a lot of things today. One of the big stories that we talked about is Megan Kelly. That was an exclusive that we broke on page6.com. She is upset because she's not going to the Olympics, which is a bit confusing because it's in her contract. This is what sources told us, that she specifically has in her contract that she cannot be forced to cover our host special events. Mm -hmm. And the source told us now that Matt Lauer has been fired, she was upset that she was not asked to uh, host the Winter Olympic Games and, you know, because she was expected to, uh, to be asked based on principle. Mm -hmm. But Katie yeah. Kirk is going. Uh, yeah. We talked about that on the show. I think about two weeks ago is when that was announced, and Katie Kirk, of course, covered many Olympics, but she hasn't in a while, and she's coming back to do the opening ceremony. By the way, guys, since this is Facebook Live, make sure to drop your comments, leave your questions. We will read them out loud. We'll be able to answer them. So that first Megan Kelly topic that uh, Carlos brought up, we do talk about it on tonight's show, so definitely make sure to go to page6tv.com, check your local listings, see what time we air in your city, uh, and Let actually, us know what you think, too. Yeah. Yeah. She, um, funny thing about that is that since Katie Kirk is uh, hosting the opening ceremonies, she was complaining to her staff and to her agent, apparently, and she was hoping the news got back to Andy Lack, and we talked about it on the show. He is also in the story. He did not. Care, so. Yeah, and that's the president of NBC News, yeah. so he'd be the one. The chairman. Who, yeah. The chairman, yes, yeah, yeah. who makes the decisions. Yeah, things, um, <laughs> things are just being thrown around in the office, guys. It's just a normal day in the office. By the way, we do want to say hi to our friends hey at Fox 5 Atlanta. Hey, guys. Yeah. Uh, and we air at 12.30 a.m., so make sure to tune in for more on the Megyn Kelly story. But mm -hmm. let's jump to another topic also. Uh, oh, oh, wait. There we we have some, some questions see. already. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Teresa Tanny says she needs to be fired. <laughs> Megan Kelly's a drama queen. Um, well, well, we were told that people were calling her a diva around NBC um, because of these antics. But, you know, a lot of people do feel that way. A lot of people feel that, you know, she's getting paid $23 mm -hmm. million. Dollars, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, she hasn't her show, the ratings haven't lived up to that mm -hmm. price. Now, I want to read some of the comments from our viewers. Thanks, guys, so much for weighing in. It seems like they may definitely agree with that. Uh, Jerry Daniels says, Tier, can somebody call her a wambulance? Oh, Deborah mean. Carr says, Maggie Kelly is too impressed with herself. Pamela says, Katie Kirk, any day over Kelly. Uh, and Sherry Murphy says, Maggie Kelly needs to step back. Carrie says karma is what it's called. All right, All right so, so a lot you of you guys, guys are not feeling Megan <laughs> Kelly. We get it. Yes, and we wow. are going to keep reporting, keep giving you details about the unfolding of Megan Kelly show. But tonight, we also talk about yeah. Kim it's Kardashian. Important. But it is yeah. important to note, just really quickly, yes. uh, you know, M NBC reps, they did not respond, but there are insiders who told us that that story is simply not true, but, you know, where there's smoke, where there's fire. Yeah, all right, can we move on? Okay, okay. Kim Kardashian. We definitely need your guys' comments here because she posted some nude photos. I know, breaking news, but she posted a series of them. And when I say nude, they're like really, really, really nude. In fact, I was just looking at her Instagram and a lot of people are commenting, tagging Instagram saying, take this down. Yeah, I mean, when I first saw it at first glance, I didn't even realize that. I mean, it's her, it's her boob. And, you know, at, at first glance, I didn't even realize that her nipple was blurred out. Mm -hmm, right. And I know you had a very strong reaction on today's show. So. Yes. So I was at a restaurant having dinner with a few of my girlfriends and was scrolling through Instagram. I know I shouldn't be antisocial during dinner, but we are reporters. So we have to keep up with what everybody's posting. <laughs> and I saw the photo that Kim posted and it I mean, I really, being in a public place, I was like, oh my God, I have to put my phone down because people are going to think I'm looking at pornographic images. Mm -hmm. So if I had that reaction as a grown adult woman in a restaurant, imagine what her kids may think. 
when they grow up. And I, I know that some of you guys are gonna disagree with me and say that Kim Kardashian promotes body confidence. And I agree that that is very, very positive and what she's done for society and for the way that women view themselves and their bodies and to love your body is great. But I do think there's a line and you have to think about being tasteful. She's a new mom, she has three young kids. I just think she crossed the line a little bit. So let me know if you guys agree or disagree. Yeah, and here's the thing, Kim Kardashian, you know, I've interviewed her a long time ago, I've met her before. She's a very sweet and nice, woman and I usually defend Kim but here's the thing with this it's like she's she always contradicts herself she posts these photos of her nude and I would believe at one point in time she was saying that she would never do that again right I, yeah and then she continues to do it mm -hmm. and she also continues to she's being accused of cultural appropriation too with her cornrows that she referred to as Bo Derek braids they're mm -hmm. not the appropriate term is Fulani braids or corn cornrows mm -hmm. and she always claps back and people accuse her of uh, cultural appropriation and people who criticize her for her nude photos and it's like to me it's just a part of her brand now she knows mm -hmm. she expects this reaction and so it doesn't really feel like a sincere reaction it's almost right. as if she does it just to clap back right, right? okay uh, now you guys are rolling in with the comments and we love it so I want to read a few of them uh, Michelle says Kim acts as if she's 20 years old just like her mom it's disgusting um, <laughs> And Michelle also says Kim Kardashian is thirsty and trash. Now, Snowy says that you want a tour of the office. I think that's a great idea. We can't do that, but one time, can we do that? Yeah, we should do it. I think that would be cool, right? I think so. Sure. All right, we're talking to our friends off camera. We're not talking to a wall. <laughs> that's a really good idea. I think that one day we should do a tour of the office, yeah, right? Not. Okay. But here it is. Right now. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're That's in the newsroom. News room. We're in the newsroom. Oh. Okay. I think we should move on from Kim K and talk about mermaids. What do you think? Oh, um, we did our, our segment today, annoying or enjoying, and there's a new, um, I guess it's like acrobatic aerobics or something, <laughs> yeah. with, uh, where you wear the what do you call a it? Mermaid, the mermaid like fish fed, tail. Yeah, the fish tail <laughs> uh, for swimming. I still don't quite get it. You know, I mean, you were enjoying it, right? Yeah. If I'm not so I've never yeah. done this. But celebrities like Leah Michelle and Britney, Britney Spears, Britney Spears have yeah. done it. So apparently, you guys should Google this and or look at Britney's Insta and see. You put on like a mermaid fish tail thing, and then you swim and do exercises so good for your core. core. For your, yeah. So, and, um, I'm, I'm old school. I, I mean, if you're going to swim, swim. But, you know, we did have Dr. Oz on the show yeah. today who he enjoyed it because, you know, I, I get it too. You want to switch it up a bit and have more, you know, have a little fun with your exercise. If you are a swimmer, that could be a fun way to switch up your strokes. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but I, I, I would imagine I'd get pretty bored with that too. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would try it the first time. I think it's exciting one time, but it is a little. You don't work out. I know. So maybe this would make me try it, though, if I put on a mermaid tail, right? Yeah, well, you enjoyed it. Yeah, so. yeah. I want to touch on Black Panther. Black Panther, yeah. yes. Yeah, I was so jealous of that premiere last night. It was in L.A. I had a lot of friends on the carpet. Mm -hmm. um, if you've been following, this movie is going to be huge. It already sold out. Remember when we talked about Lupita Nyong'o's mm -hmm. uh, video? Yep. The, they looked incredible. They had a royal thing. Uh, on on the carpet last night, so Angela Bassett looked incredible. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. I mean, even the guy showed out. He had these um, what do you call them? Pins. Uh, these collar pins were that were like five thousand dollars. Yeah, they're really cool. Yeah, but, and you guys, not to embarrass Carlos, but you should definitely watch the show tonight at twelve thirty a.m. because <laughs> Carlos is wearing a jacket that kind of. His tribute to what the stars were wearing at the Black Panther premiere last night. And, and it, it did it, good. it did not nearly look as good as they did though. It but was I but good. I tried. <laughs> I did try. Yeah. yeah. Now so here's the thing about Black Panther. Uh, Carlos, you just spoke about mm. how it's breaking records. It was Fandango's quickest selling Marvel pre sale ticket so clearly people are interested and bevy on tonight's show to give you a little tease she really speaks about the importance of the message of black panther it's the yeah. first time that we're seeing a black superhero it's also the, first, it's the first marvel comic yes yeah. and it's the first time that we're seeing a major motion picture that is a superhero film but also has cultural uh what's the word that bevy is it has some cultural more. impact. Yeah. It's not well, just... Well, major cultural impact, yeah. for sure. I mean, it's... the fact that it's the first Marvel comic uh, movie that features an entire black cast and focuses entirely on, well, Black Panther. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it, it's an incredible, beat important moment right yes. now. Yes, and last night, like Carlos said, it was the premiere in Los Angeles, and a lot of my colleagues at Variety were there, and they can't 
tell any spoilers, but they did all tweet and they said this is one of the best movies they've seen in years, not just in the superhero genre, but it is great, fantastic. Uh, one of my colleagues actually yeah. tweeted out this is going to make a zillion dollars. Yeah, and it was also shot in Atlanta, too. So. That was a fun fact. Yeah. Maybe some of you guys walked by the set. Maybe. I, see it, so. I know. Yeah, it premieres by February 16th. 16th. Officially, yeah. Did you get tickets? Because so, I couldn't get them. Not, <laughs> I was going to ask about when you had tickets yet. Yeah, no. But yeah. All right, let's see. But I am getting tickets. Yeah. So. Let's, oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of you guys are really excited for Black Panther. Let's see. Oh, um, Daniel wants to know, did we go anywhere for restaurant week? I feel like you're Mr. Mr. He knows everything. You know what? I go to restaurants a lot. I did not. I don't usually participate officially in restaurant week it usually just kind of creeps up on you uh but it is a huge thing in new york yeah so but yeah but we do eat out a lot yeah you guys actually you should drop some comments at your favorite restaurants in atlanta so whenever we get the chance to go out there we can visit them yes right? absolutely all right how much so, more time do we have we have to run to our are, next yeah we have another meeting so if you're in new york please visit page6.com to get tickets and visit us here we have a live studio audience and it's a lot of fun. And don't forget that Page 6 TV airs weeknights at 12.30 a.m. On Fox 5. And you can also catch us on Hulu. So make sure to tune in. And again, like Carla said, we'd love to see you whenever you're visiting New York. Bye, guys. See ya.